There are more questions than answers right now as to when sports will return. There might not even be a college football season this fall. But the U of I is remaining cautiously optimistic as to the outlook. Athletic Director Josh Whitman was on a Zoom call with us today. We touched on many subjects, but we start our conversation with that football talk and what might happen if football is shortened, postponed, or canceled. Certainly, if we don't have any football season, you know, that's that's the worst of all scenarios, I think, in, in terms of the finances for the athletic program. I mean, that would be, if you look at some of the public information we have out there, I think we attribute around 55 to 60 percent of our of our programmatic revenue to football. If you, if you lose you know, some percentage of that, some high percentage of that revenue, that, that's, that's meaningful. There have been numerous ideas thrown out, everything from shortening the schedule to moving football to the spring. All have their pros, all have their cons. Whitman just doesn't want decisions to be made too quickly. I think the biggest challenge here is probably that we're going to need to make some decisions with incomplete information. I think we have to avoid uh, making those decisions prematurely, try and push those as late as we can so that we have as much information as possible. COVID-19 isn't only impacting current Illini sports, but future ones too. Illinois was gearing up to announce the launch of their hockey program as soon as next month. But with what's happening, that announcement is put on hold. We've confronted a lot of obstacles here over the last 12, 18 months, uh, and, and it's really required us to uh, think creatively and, and look for different solutions, and, and we've been able to do that. And uh, here over the last three months, in particular, felt like we had a, a couple breakthrough moments that, that put us in a good position to spearhead that project going forward. We were starting to gear up for an announcement as early as next month. We, we remain very committed to the project, excited about it, and uh, the impact that it could have on volleyball, wrestling, men's, women's gymnastics, and then uh, obviously the, the chance to add hockey at a high level and uh, hopefully we can, uh, can come back to a sooner rather than later. But until then, Whitman is staying in touch with those who are supporting the launch of the program. And part of the project process now is uh, reconnecting with all those different groups and, and making sure that kind of seeing how everybody's doing and, and where they're at. And this is something that, uh, you know, we want to continue to try and push once uh, again, once we get through the, the immediate uh, changes here precipitated by the, by the pandemic. So again, sounds like hockey is going to come to Illinois. I think we all came to that assumption already, but it's just a matter of when now this COVID just keeps delaying it.